Hi Libra, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into this Libra. Thank you Lord God for blessing Libra with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's see Libra, what love messages we have. What's going on for Libra and love? Okay. Uh, the eight of wands okay um things could be moving rather quickly um there's a lot of intimacy between the two of you uh, someone could be talking about moving in together or, or move or traveling also you guys could do a lot of traveling and it also could be coupled with work there's an energy of of obsession and infatuation Either with you, Libra, or the other person, or it's mutual. Um, someone could be obsessed with um, a particular outcome. Okay, they're trying to manifest what what it is they want with you. They're trying to use the law of attraction. You know, and the law of attraction is typically working for us or against us. What we are, we will attract. Okay. Um, the Eight of Wands here it says that. Um, could be dealing with Scorpio. There's a lot of mystery surrounding the other person's finances in terms of love here. Uh, a lot of mystery surrounding the other person's resources um, and shared finances, okay? Um, with the Eight of Wands, it's like uh, there's going to be some creative window opportunity for you guys to either come together start something new bring something old back someone wants to communicate with you so that they can revive or relive something with you also with the judgment card somebody wants you to make some snap decision to forgive to come back to give second chance but they understand that the decision is yours or you understand that the decision is um a decision needs to be made altogether somebody needs to be final and definite in this decision also no going back it you know are we on or are we off okay the knight of wands it's like yeah you could be dealing with some very fiery energy where they get fired up about you or vice versa this is that or this is you um it seems as if somebody wanted to sweep you off your feet and they did just that um honey tongued uh, charismatic outgoing um, gorgeous, if you will. Uh, but this is not a person who lets the grass grow under their feet. This is somebody who likes to move around, make moves, do things. Um, once they conquer something, they are out. Keep in mind the knights are all on conquest journey. So um, they're, they're constantly moving. They are air of, this will be air of fire. So we know we got a, a lot of movement there. We got a lot of fast uh, energy happening between you and someone else again something about a move someone wants to know are you moving with me or are we moving or are we moving in together or are we making this big move what are we doing what's the general energy for my Libras what's the general energy king of swords so this could be you Libra um the general energy is somebody being strategic and methodical about their next move, calculated also, keeping to themselves and not voicing what's really going on um, because that would then take, you know, the element of strategy out, you know, if you tell people exactly what you're doing. Um, there's also an energy of someone being, you know, kind of narcissistic, uh, all, all about themselves, uh, makes decisions. Uh, they're good for them and they, they may even practice the trickle down method you know if it if it's good for me then you know maybe some of this good will trickle down to the other people this could be you Libra or another person definitely could be dealing with the Scorpio it's an energy of something being somebody being very calculated and cold and to themselves um, Oh, ambitious overly ambitious this is a person who will get to the top you know let's see what's the general energy about the two of coins here somebody's gonna weigh up 
a decision here. Right now, they're juggling. Um, everything is up in the air. It is a decision that needs to be made, but everything is up in the air. Where it will land, nobody knows. With the two of pentacles here. Um, somebody's putting on an act also. You know, just trying to keep the peace. Or they know that other people are looking at them. Therefore, they, they, they keep up the act. This is the jester. Or the, the jackal. Or not the jackal, but the jester. The court jester. The person that went, went, went around in medieval times and... And they were supposed to be the, you know, the juggler, the funny person, the, the person that made everyone laugh, you know. So this is somebody who is putting on a show right now with the two of pentacles. And because they're trying to do two different things at the same time, it could be someone juggling two different people, two different jobs, because the two talks about income. Um, it talks about daily habits, work ethics. So somebody is really trying to um, make something work for themselves, make something happen. Keeping your secrets to yourself. As I say that the four of pentacles comes out. Somebody's going to have some newfound wealth here. Something's going to come into someone. Wow, and it could be a wish fulfillment here. Um, or someone is at a place of maybe penny, penny pinching, saving. Or they walked into newfound wealth. And they just don't want to lose it. Therefore, they are stagnating the energy of money by not spending or giving out the money um be cautious but don't be overly cautious um also there's an energy of um somebody wants another person to stay or come back to um a situation where they were being juggled with another person somebody misses the fun times sex the the good drink, the the food, this the fun times, just the atmosphere, the ambiance of it all, of the of the connection. And this person could be hoping, wishing, praying for you. Again, manifestation coming up. Wow, yeah, as I say that the star at the bottom of the deck, someone is hoping for reconciliation. Someone wants the other person to deal with them compassionately, you know, um, truthfully, compassionately, and forgiveness here. This this is what someone wants. Someone sees the other person shining bright like a star on their platform or getting a lot of eyes on them. Someone uses technology or they're in IT or they deal with groups or groups of people or groups in, in terms of your work. Um, so again, there could be promotion here with the Eight of Wands. Um, it looks like somebody's going to take on a new new status or a title change or someone is going after um a promotion here and it looks like you will get it you get two wish cards here wish the 11th house which is the aquarius the star card governs hopes wishes and dreams and then you have the nine of cups which says make a wish it can very well come true um so it looks like you're going to get something especially if you're in some collaborative effort Especially if you do something where you you balance out something money money in money out something like that where you you are keeping in check balancing out I don't know if you bookkeeper accountant something of that nature looks like you get what you want in terms of um, you know generally it could be in business it could be in career in love it looks like there's someone on fire for you to come back for for them to have another opportunity with you okay somebody does want reconciliation um there are some hopes wishes dreams uh, that possibly can be fulfilled here libra i hope that this reading resonated for you if it did go over to the website book your own reading there take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below you can also donate to the channel by clicking on the um buy me a coffee link thank you libra many blessings to you